across our night vision. This is uh, our stand number two. We actually went over to the oil well blind where I've been deer hunting, where we've been deer hunting at. No luck. We're, we're not sure. It's the first time we tried coyote hunting over there. We could not even get a single howl. So we're back here. This farm, I think I've killed two coyotes already on this farm. We haven't hunted here in a while. So I've got my Icotech GC500. Um, this has a new AD400. The adjustable decoy. It's got the light. Go ahead and flip the light off. I'll go ahead and set it up. Smoked them right there. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Got to let this farm, fellas. We get set up. There's so much livestock around here. I was telling the guys, man, I'm seeing all kinds of light. Seeing rabbits. I asked my one buddy, said, hey, does that look like a coyote? He wasn't sure, he checked it out. So I turned on the Icotec mouse bowl. I got this coyote to commit. He actually, I was going to try to shoot him through the one fence, and he slipped through the fence. He was coming right in. Awesome. Awesome kill. 46 a.m. Smoke them. All right, folks, let's go ahead and recover this coyote. take for granted walking in the daytime like I said you know a lot of times we don't use lights if we're actively hunting 
And so you just gotta, just gotta be careful. Was that a howl? That was a howl, wasn't it? Size female, that's for sure. pump this is number 19 for the year this is Nito the invisible man for pulsar night vision once again the XD 75 a thermal came through Barnes bullets hydrogen powder and of course the Icotech GC 500 with the piggyback 8400 adjustable decoy got her done tonight but it's a nice looking female she's gonna skin out nicely for sure all right Hope you all enjoy the video. 